Hello Hectors and welcome back to my channel. Today video project is how to make a simple Arduino metal detector. Okay. As I said in my previous video, which was a short video or demonstration of working metal detector with Arduino but in today's video I will explain everything and how to make at home a simple metal detector using Arduino and couple of electronic components. Let's start. This project we're gonna split in three parts and the first part is making the searching coil, second part is making the homemade electronic boards with couple of resistors, one transistor, three LEDs, buzzer and so on. And the third part is programming the Arduino board with the code and that's it. How to make the cheapest searching coil with free to find a copper wire, a thin copper wire that you can find in old Seafield bulbs. You need to open one of these Seafield bulbs inside the, the base and pull out that small transformer and on that transformer there is a thin copper wire that you can use in your making for homemade searching coil from thin copper wire. And you need to wind about 31 turns on 150 millimeter diameter just like I I show you in the video right now I found this simple metal detector on the website that is shared on the on the net. I'm gonna put a link below and you can check. You can make different sizes of searching coil starting from 100 millimeters and above to 300 millimeters but in today project in my case I'm making 150 millimeter diameter searching coil with around 31 and maximum 36 turns of copper, solid copper wire that you pull out from old Seafield bulb. Okay.
Okay, I finished the first part for making the metal detector and that is uh, making the searching coil and turned out pretty cool what you say. It's a 150 millimeters diameter with about 30 turns of copper wire coil. You have two ends on, on this side and also I have put a aluminum shield on the copper coil which is good. You, you should try that. And this plastic frame is made out of lead and it's finished, the searching coil is finished and now I'm going to explain the electronic part, making the electronic board with the oscillator. In previous video I have shared the schematic but here it is again. And there is just only one N-pen transistor which is BC337 that is critical and must be this that transistor and this circuit or this oscillator is working on 5 volts but I'm gonna reveal some secret I'm gonna wait about that and this is the Zener diode that needs to be 4.3 volts exactly okay and this is the output of the oscillator it goes on digital pin number 5 over the Arduino and here it is the searching coil on these spots here and here you're gonna attach the coil that we made before and this is the one of the circuit this is that let me show you this one and you have you have an Arduino board and on, on that Arduino board on digital number 5 you gonna connect the oscillator on digital number number 12 you're gonna attach a buzzer 5 volt buzzer active buzzer you have three LEDs attached to resistor of 330 ohms to ground the ground from the Arduino board and the ground from the oscillator should be connected together and let's see the the build now and here there are two boards connected together this is a homemade oscillator with one transistor and this is the Arduino board digital number 5 is connected to the oscillator digital number 12 is connected to the buzzer here it is and analog number 2, analog number 4 and 5 are for the LEDs the grounds from the Arduino board and ground from the oscillator should be connected together these wires are for supplying the, the whole electronics and I'm gonna use 8 volts with 2 connected in serial 18650 batteries that will give above 8 volts when, when they are fully charged and I have tested you don't need 12 volts to operate this it will operate great at 8 volts for the oscillator and the Arduino board have inside built in a voltage regulator that give 5 volts and all this will be placed inside box I'm gonna have a fill switch I made three holes for the LEDs I'm gonna place the come on the battery inside I have a lid and will be this place it on the handle for the metal detector
Okay, so here it is the finished Arduino metal detector with wooden handle at bottom we have a searching coil homemade this is the box with all electronics I'm gonna turn it on and it's ready let's search for this experiment and proving that the, that the metal detector is working I have cover three places with metals inside there is the largest the medium and the queen and now I'm gonna search and see that the metal detec detector is working fine there is the biggest piece okay. on the LEDs is detecting metal I wanted to see and you to see that it's 15 centimeters deep in the ground and the metal detector is detecting that look okay it's 13 by 6 centimeters aluminium piece there is a medium piece of metal okay here it is I'm gonna leave it there. It's 10 centimeters underground. All right. Here it is. And here it is the the coin. Here it is, one euro. The metal detector is working fine. That was all for today project, which was the simplest Arduino metal detector that it's working. Once again, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.